Well, the history of the Scottish National Fat Stock Club goes back over a hundred years, 1897 to be precise, when a group of Ayrshire farmers who were blackface breeders decided to have a competition of prime lambs. And uh, it evolved with the Smithfield Show until they decided, well, perhaps we should have it back up in Edinburgh. So back up to uh, Edinburgh they came, and uh, the show for many, many years was at the Waverley Market, just next door to Waverley Station, right in the middle of the town. A great exhibition of prime stock in Scotland in, 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 at that time. Uh, since the sort of 1970s, it's been a movable feast a bit, because Waverley Market clearly right in the middle of the town, uh, which was very convenient in the old days. They just put their stock onto a, a, a train and they were down at Smithfield the next week. But uh, clearly, parking and traffic and heaven knows what else, they had to move out of the site. So uh, they moved uh, out to Perth Market in those days, and uh, it's been to and fro from there since. But they've now got their home here at the Royal Highland uh, Show Centre here, and uh, a very fine venue it is. It's actually um, been a great getting together time for Scottish farmers, I think, at this time of year are interested in livestock. Also a great exposition of prime stock in Scotland. Uh, in the past we had pigs as well as sheep and cattle obviously and uh, I think the tradition goes on and they have the sale at, at the end of the show uh, of the prime stock and uh, it makes good money to local butchers which is good advertising for them and uh, indeed good for the exhibitors as well. I think one of the uh, interesting facets of this, uh, the sort of way that the society has moved, is back in the 70s, um, they actually managed to get sponsorship for some of these events because it was a costly thing to run and that hadn't really been thought of much before in agricultural circles and uh, sponsorship evolved uh, from that original show back in the, I can't remember the actual date, but in the 70s anyway, when uh, we managed to get sponsorship for all the various classes and even so today we're very much indebted to all these people who do sponsor the, 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 the club and indeed the show. Uh, the show of cattle uh, and sheep has been quite fantastic. Uh, it's been so uh, wet and that's had a huge influence on uh, our farmers. Uh, it's great to then come to a day like this. Uh, it's also a social event. And, uh, and there's not lot, all that many of them in the winter, so it's particularly good to have an event like this in November, right in the middle of Scotland, at our National Exhibition Centre, which works well. And as you can see, people are milling around for a, a great time, and uh, it's really important. So it's important commercially, but it's also important socially. First prize goes to number 138. One thirty eight and that comes from Mr. Fred Murray with Daisy Jude and it scales three forty kilos. The Royal Highland uh, Winter Fair is just one of these very special events uh, for Scottish agriculture and indeed wider. Uh, we've got competitors uh, and spectators from all over the United Kingdom. Uh, quite amazing because of its national importance. We've got cattle here from Wales. Uh, from Ireland, from all over Scotland and England, even cattle from the West Country. Um, they're clearly competing for this amazing uh, array of silver trophies. One of the really important things about this year's show is that uh, we've had um, a, a young handlers competition, uh, 21 youngsters uh, for, um, up to the age of about 17, from 10 to 17 years of age, showing cattle for the very first time here and also the young farmers classes as well. So it's really good to see the, uh, the Scottish Fat Stock Club who organised the Winter Fair promoting uh, youth because we think that's really important. Yeah, some of the team are edging for positions already at this young age. <laughs> and then um, it's not just about the way they handle them but it's how they look themselves. The presentation of the handler is so important, the whole show. The sets the right and impression you want. And also, Mr. Glazebrook's asking the competitors about their animal, what they know about them, and what involvement they've had in turning them out. Well, look at this. Uh, 
Judge Billy Glazebrook putting the team through their paces as we have the six out of a huge entry of 14, ladies and gentlemen. I think it is just amazing to have this number of cattle forward and it really is a great reflection on the industry and uh, hopefully a good number, a good proportion of these uh, uh, hand competitors will come on, come forward and uh, do lots more in the beef industry. And again, I think that the Winter Fair deserve lots of congratulations for uh, introducing this uh, competition uh, to this event. So, well done to all those who have competed and particular congratulations to the prize winners. Can I can ask you to give the lights here champion a very warm round of applause and congratulations to Jennifer Hislop and uh, you and Linda Lock. Now, next on the list, the Intermediate Steer. There you are, number 39. 39 is your Intermediate Champion from Archie Wright. Uh, bred by Exhibit at Limousin by Bailey Spinky. Now there you are, the number 50 from James Rosine, Jackass. Uh, produced, bred by Exhibit, ladies and gentlemen, by the Limousin Blue Seaview Mill. And out of the Belgian Blue Cross County. That's number 50, is the reserve, home bread. Give your intermediate champion reserve a nice round of applause as they go back to the uh, gathering ring and you'll see them shortly. So we have six steers. These are the qualifying steers from the Heavy clan, heavyweight classes in this morning show. On the start and final of our steer champions is the heavyweight steer competition. Our number 31, ladies and gentlemen, there is your heavyweight steer champion, number 31 from Messrs. McBeth and Owen. Named the Red Dukes, bred by Exhibitor. Number 62, ladies and gentlemen, is your reserve champion heavy steer from Gavin Scott, Rinky Dinky Doo, bred by Mrs. Richardson from Apple. And by Ross and Doll, the limousin out of the limousin cross town. So, ladies and gentlemen, give a good round of applause here. We've got uh, Sarah Jane, uh, just uh, leading out the heavyweight, the, the, the heavy steer champion, followed by Gavin Scott's entry number 62. Well done, Stuart Neil here in the Callan, a pet cattle steward, lining them up for our judge to select his overall champion. So where are we here, ladies and gentlemen? You all have your favourites, but the man in the hot spot is Michael Affert, the butcher from Taunton, who has had a great career from a very young age, I can tell you, in this uh, beef business. Uh, it's really good to see him up here judging. He's won the Winter Fair and he's going right. 69, it's the winner. Number 69 is your champion steer, ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Hislop. She is a great competitor. Well, well, what a great team of books or steers we have in front of us here, ladies and gentlemen. And our judge has just made Jennifer Hislop's entry the champion steer. And there you are, number 31. 31 is the reserve champion, the Charlie Cross. From Macbeth and Owen, called the Red Duke, bred by Exhibitor, number 31. So that, of course, wins the City of Edinburgh Trophy. <coughs> so our champion from Jennifer Hislop. It's number 69 in your catalogue. Right, ladies and gentlemen, please give your champion steer and reserve a great round of applause as they leave the ring momentarily. And you'll see them back very shortly.
So there they line up. 74 from the Galloways. 77 from the Sharma section. 106, 114. Lost to the Lunders and 129 from the Young Farmer Fox. Silex, uh, the Limousin, and out of a Limousin Cross Cow. So that's Hugh and Lyndon Lock from Ayrshire. Right, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask, give a special congratulatory applause to Grant Morrison. It's the first time he's exhibited here at the Winter Fair. And that was his main point to start, and also to Hugh and Lyndon Lock, with their reserve champion. So here we have a great team. Fixed by all the heifers, ladies and gentlemen. Picked by our judge. And he certainly knows the main business. In fact, it would be difficult to think of anyone more qualified. The previous winner of the championships here. And the Royal Smithfield. And the Royal Smithfield judge. Number 84, ladies and gentlemen. Well, look at this. Here we've got a partnership of the Lindsay McGarry, who is leading the beast, and uh, Stuart Bett with their uh, limousine. It's bred by Alistair McLaren, Alistair McLaren at Kinross, and uh, sired by the Limousine Bull Lodge, Danny Boy, and out of a Limousine Cross Blue Cow. In number 89 is reserve champion, ladies and gentlemen, from Watson and Watt. This is Fire Flash. Bred by the Baileys up in the Orkney Islands and uh, sired by Stavely Hurricane. Well, what a spectacle, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen some pretty awesome cattle coming through the judging today. And here are your champion heifers. And I'm not sure what will be going through Michael Athlon's mind at the moment, but I think I would think it would be pretty chuffed anyway to these two here, because they just look quite amazing. 84 and 106. Both lives and cross. Nice. Amazing with fresh heifers. 184. Wow, what great success for the Stelling team. Number 84 there. And she's called Marvellous Mole. Well, she's certainly proving that today. Great to understand that the Marvellous Mole was bought and at after it won the championship at the uh, Kinross show in August. So it's used to the limelight, and here it is, as your champion heifer. There you are, 106. Grant Morrison, first time exhibitor here, from Bamsha. Lovely limousin heifer there. I was delighted to have Charlotte our uh, judge's daughter to present the trophy. They were a cracking hamper. What a Christmas present to give to anybody for your granddad, wife, auntie, 